What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over how to rank higher for your SEO keywords. So I'm going to give you a pretty simple process. After you've done your keyword research, you've created your entire spreadsheet with all the keywords you want to rank for. Now we're going to go over some of the steps you can take to start ranking higher for those keywords. This is video seven in my from zero to $2,000 a month series. You can find all of my videos on this playlist from zero to 2K, free digital marketing training. I'm not gonna be selling anything to you. And I do recommend watching my Amazon affiliate marketing tutorial if you do wanna create a website like mine. In this specific example, I'm gonna be showing you some different ideas for my website, wickerguide.com. Specifically, I'm gonna just focus on wicker chairs and kind of the process I take to try to rank for that keyword. And I'm also gonna go through this for my website, floorjackcenter.com, because I'm currently implementing my SEO strategy for this website. And this website has not grown for the past year because I wasn't producing content for it. So that's an important lesson and it's gonna bring us right into number one. So if we come into number one, create new content or improve existing content on your website every single day. You need to be consistent. If you're not consistently creating content, your website is not gonna grow. For my website, farmhousegoals.com last year, I really started to increase my content output starting September 1st, really in the fall of 2019. I really started to create a lot more content for my website, publish blog posts, add products to it. So looking at September 1st, 2019 to February 29th, 2020, and we're comparing it to the previous period. So the, it's the exact same number of days before I really started to create a lot of content. So if we scroll down here, we're just gonna look at our organic search traffic. And in that time, we saw an increase of 547%. You all users over 61,000 compared to the same exact time period under 9,500. So if you're not creating content, you're not gonna see this consistent growth. And if we come over to my website, wickerguide.com right now, you can see I'm in my post section on the back end of WordPress. So right now I have 10 blog posts total. I have best wicker dining chairs, swivel chairs. I have a long article just basically about wicker, how wicker furniture is made. And then everything else is really geared towards specific types of products or some large category. So as I start to build out more and more content on my website, and specifically, we're looking at wicker chairs today. So I have rocking chairs, lounge chairs. If we come up to the top here, I have dining chairs, swivel chairs, outdoor wicker chairs. So when someone searches for wicker chairs, what search engines are gonna do is look at every single website that has any type of content for that specific term. So they're gonna look at every website and say, okay, which website has the best information, the best resources for people? That's who we're gonna put in front of this user. And what I would recommend is watching this fourth video in the series, so it's keyword research, keyword mapping, and content strategy. And in that video, I showed you how to come up with a really good keyword list for your business. So in our spreadsheet here, you can see this is our keyword list that we came up with and search volume pulled from the Google Keyword Planner. So we're looking at all these different keywords and over here are all the different keywords I'm gonna be creating content for this month. So right now is the 12th, so I have a couple more articles to publish today. And basically by the 15th, I should have almost 20 articles published. I really wanna increase my article output this weekend. So ultimately, if you're not creating new content and you're not applying SEO best practices on page, you're gonna to struggle to improve your rankings over time. Now, two other videos I'd recommend watching. So completely unrelated to this playlist, but my on-page SEO tutorial for 2020, I'll put this link in the video description. If you're not familiar with on-page SEO, it's a really good video and it should help you learn how to optimize your content. And then also how to create content that ranks high in search engines. I created this earlier in the year. It goes over some similar topics that I go through in this video, but it's also gonna give you more information and it won't hurt to watch either of them if you're really struggling to improve your rankings in Google and other search engines. Now, last but not least with this point, if you're having trouble creating new content or improving your content, you can always outsource some of these processes. So I use iWriter.com a lot for articles. If you come in here, you can order content, you set your own prices, the length of the article you need, what quality of writer you're looking for. So you can do pretty much everything with iWriter when it comes to written content. And then you always have options like Fiverr.com where you can get writing and translation work. You could do everything, articles and blog posts, website content. You can get white papers. Maybe you need podcast writing if you're doing a podcast and you just need a little bit more help on the writing aspect of it. 
and also they have video and animation. So if you come in here, you can get a whiteboard and animated explainer. Those types of things can be used as content on your website. So if you're having trouble creating content every single day, you can outsource some of it. You can create some yourself. You can focus yourself on improving your existing content. So for me, I'm basically about 50-50. I outsource a lot of my written content, especially on websites like wickerguide.com and farmhousegoals.com. I outsource a lot of that because it just helps me take that content, publish it, and it helps me create a lot more in this shorter period of time. Number two is understand what ranks for your targeted keywords and really focus on creating a better resource on your website. So this one is pretty simple. Go to Google, type in some of your targeted keywords. So again, we're going to use wicker chairs here as my example, and we're going to use floor jacks as my example. If we come in here, we have advertisements at the top. You can see I have some search performance for this specific search query, floor jacks. I have zero clicks. I'm in almost the 70th position over the last 28 days, so I really need to improve this. But if I just search floor jacks, I can see what basically always comes up is top 10 best floor jacks, best floor jacks review and buying guide, 10 best floor jacks of 2020. And then we get down here to Home Depot where they just have floor jacks for sale, their e-commerce website. Keep coming down, so e-commerce, northerntool.com, harborfreight.com. And then again, if we come over to Wicker Chairs and we scroll down, again, we have this for beachfrontdecor.com. It's a keyword I target with that website as well. But if we keep scrolling down, you can see they have the local options right here. So all these Google My Business pages and some of these local stores where you can buy Wicker Furniture images. So it makes you keep in mind that you should make sure your images are also search engine optimized because people are coming into images to find different products they might be interested in purchasing. And then as we keep coming down, Amazon, Ikea, Target, Home Depot, Wicker Warehouse, Wayfair. So a lot of e-commerce type websites. So really my blog posts are going to be product focused and my goal is just going to be to build out all these different categories white wicker chairs so if we click here indoor wicker chairs outdoor wicker chairs vintage with cushions these are all really popular variations so my goal is going to be to try to rank not only for these main keywords but also for some of these long tail keywords as well so you need to understand what ranks for the targeted keywords on your website and if you don't have a better resource on your website for your targeted keywords you're just not going to rank higher especially over some of these really established and some of the largest websites on the internet like amazon like wayfair so we'll come to number three you need to make sure you're covering your main website topic and all subtopics comprehensively and you want to link your pages together so for this example, I'm going to show you what I'm doing with floorjackcenter.com currently. So we're going to open up our spreadsheet. My goal is to rank for the keyword floor jacks. So this is my little example here, and it's a spreadsheet that I'm using to follow along as I'm trying to rank higher for this keyword. As you can tell, I have about the 70th position for it right now. So I have a lot of work to do. Focus keyword floor jacks. My date of completion for all these different articles is going to be December 15th. So you can see best floor jacks, three ton, two ton, 3.5 ton, 22 ton, heavy duty, low profile, trolley jacks, car jacks, hydraulic floor jacks, all different variations that people regularly search into Google and other search engines. So right now I had just have my page published for the best three ton floor jacks. And on that page, what I'm gonna be doing is linking to all these different floor jacks. So all these different brands, have their own variations of three ton floor jacks. And you can see right here, I put together a ton of reviews. So for every single product, I have a review. So when someone does come to my page, best three ton floor jacks, you can see here, what I'm gonna be doing is I have best three ton floor jacks 2021 product reviews. If we come down for right now, I just kind of listed the floor jack and then I have read our review. So I'm gonna be doing this for every single three ton floor jack here so that people can read a specific review for example this k-tool international 3.33 ton so i'm going to put more information here and in images and the actual star review and then a short little description for each individual floor jack i'm going to have read our review and then a direct link for people to purchase these products from amazon so someone clicks on read our review for this one in particular they're going to come to a page that looks like this and we scroll down, I have an overview, I have customer reviews, best price here, keep scrolling down, benefits, some features, product specifications, and then throughout the article, best price on Amazon, showing the customer review. So you wanna make sure that you have really comprehensive content. That is not comprehensive at all, what I just showed you. So again, come back over here. This is not comprehensive, I need more images here, I need to write short descriptions for all these different individual products. But if we look at a quick example, 
something like Wikipedia is has the best comprehensive content. So I just did a quick search into Google for Gutenberg's print, printing press, and I just wanted to see what came up at the very top, and it's Wikipedia. You could do the search if you don't believe me. And when we click here, the reason Wikipedia ranks so high all the time is because there's so much information for all of these different topics. They link out to all these other pages on the Wikipedia website. And then at the very bottom, you have source information for where they're getting all their information from. So we keep coming down. You're going to see some notes down here. You usually have some references. So it's a really important lesson here to make sure that you're creating comprehensive content. You're linking your pages together. If you're ever not sure what to do to rank higher, always look at Wikipedia. I think they're a great example for how to rank much higher in search engines for the topics that you're covering. Number four is to look for additional keyword and content opportunities through Google and YouTube. So if we come back over here, we'll use our floor jacks example. So one thing you can do is look at the people also ask section and answer all those questions. What are the best floor jacks? Are floor jacks safe? What size floor jack do I need? You could actually take something like our floor jack safe and turn this into a complete article. So you're going to see here, this goes to floorjack.com, most common life-threatening floor jack safety mistakes. So create an article like that. You can not only answer a question like this in your massive guide article for floor jacks, you could have ex additional content as well that you can link off to from that page. Going back to our point in three, linking off to additional content on your website is always going to help with your rankings. And then the other thing is look at other things that are ranking in search engines as you're clicking through. You can see refined by use. So people might be looking for pallet floor jacks, transmission floor jacks. Let's go to page two. So on page two, as we scroll down, you can see right here, top six floor jack picks. So a YouTube video, a quick 10 minute video uploaded by Power Tool Buzz, and they probably just go over some of their top floor jacks. So what I can actually do, and this will be another point in ranking higher, but what I can actually do is if we come back over to our example here, what I can do is create a YouTube video and just do something like the 10 best three ton floor jacks, go with the top 10 rated ones that we have here, show them all in the video, show why they're the best ones, just show pictures, and that will help me drive additional traffic to my website and hopefully just additional traffic directly to my affiliates. So coming back over here, looking for additional keyword and content opportunities. So in the wicker chairs example, if we come back over here to wicker chairs, we have images here. So making sure that you have really optimized images is just another opportunity there. Again, the local pack that can be helpful, but it's not always something that you have an option for if you don't have a local business. So always want to be finding new opportunities in terms of long tail keywords and then seeing what is ranking. I like this plugin here, Keywords Everywhere. So it's completely free. You can see it's up here. It's Keywords Everywhere. So if you just search Google for Keywords Everywhere, you'll find it. You can install the free version. And every time I search, it'll give me related keywords and people also search for. So as we scroll down here, I could maybe see what a wicker peacock chair is. I'm not even sure what that is. Padded wicker chairs, vintage wicker chairs, indoor basket chairs. So I could try to find some different variations. Just gives me more ideas and it's ultimately gonna help me rank for this short tail high volume keyword. Number five, make sure you're repurposing and you're marketing your content with social media, email marketing, guest blogging, email outreach, even paid advertising. So coming over to our example, so if I create this YouTube video, that's a great example of repurposed content. To give you a few more examples from other brands that do it really well, so, NFL Network, obviously they have 4.1 million people who like their page, 4.2 million people follow their page. So they have week 10 NFL power rankings. So full rankings here. So they want you to click on this link. And the way they kind of get you to look at this is you list the first five. So there's a bunch of other teams here that are not listed. 27 other teams are not listed. So other fans are going to come in, click on the power ranking, see why they're ranked in a certain spot. And it's really just a simple graphic just like this can help drive more traffic to a certain page on your website. Another example, again, we're going to use Surfside PPC, my Facebook. I'm not the greatest with social media. It's something I'm really trying to improve in 2021. But Google Ads will begin limiting data, the search terms report. So I did a YouTube video on the topic. I have a blog post on the topic. And then I have a short 1 minute and 54 second video preview. Now I only get six likes. I only got like about 100, 200 views on this video. So it's not much, but it helps people click on my YouTube video, go to my blog post, and it just helps me drive some additional traffic. So looking back at our presentation, so social media, obviously repurposing content is always going to help you drive more people back to your website or to a YouTube channel. 
Email marketing, obviously you need to build up your email list before you can start marketing any of your content there. So you wanna start with content. Once you have built up a good base of content, start building your email list and then send out periodic updates. Guest blogging, so you wanna find relevant guest blogs. This isn't gonna work for every niche or industry, but for something like marketing, it could be really useful. Email outreach, so I get people that email me a lot saying, do you wanna to link to my article? Do you wanna read my article? Do you wanna see my infographic? I created this video, maybe you can publish it on your page. So I get a lot of email outreach and a lot of that works. It doesn't always work with me specifically, but for other people it really works well, especially if you're trying to get more backlinks and you say, hey, I wrote an article on this topic, I think it would be useful for your website visitors. If you give me a link, I'll share your article on my social media to my 100,000 followers. So it's something that you can do to try to get more backlinks and maybe get some influencers or some larger websites with some audiences to try to highlight your brand, your business, or some of your products. Paid advertising, you can use a variety of paid advertising methods. It could be something as simple as a boosted Facebook post. Some people use native advertising. So there's some different options with paid advertising. Obviously you have Google ads and you have Microsoft advertising. You could try Facebook ads. So there's all these different options. Sometimes I'll get articles promoted to me through LinkedIn, through Twitter. So there's some different options you can try there with paid advertising. It can be useful if you have a high impact page on your website that helps drive revenue for your business. Number six and seven, I'm gonna go through pretty quick but use Google Search Console to find additional keyword and ranking opportunities. So I have Google Search Console set up for Wicker Guide, but I'm not getting much there yet. So if we open up my Google Search Console for Floor Jack Center, you could see I still don't get a ton of clicks. I mean, on average, I'm right around 40 per day, kind of dropped a little bit here, coming back up. If we go over to performance, the main thing I like to look at is what search terms are driving clicks and impressions. I'll usually click on impressions. We can click on our average click-through rate in the Google search results and our average position, which is 30.2. And as we scroll down here, we can see over the last three months, so two search terms, floor jacks, floor jack, the one that I really want to rank high for, you can see my average position, 52.9, 59.7, total of 12 clicks here, really not much at all. So it's something I need to improve. And I probably need to add how to use a floor jack, add an article on my website, how to bleed a floor jack, add an article on my website. So finding all these different ideas, American made floor jack. So that's something that's pretty popular, especially for people in the United States, trying to find an American made floor jack. So if I come back over here to my spreadsheet and we have the articles I wanna write, one thing I can do is add one here and just do best American made floor jacks. So I'm already ranking for that keyword. So if I do a large article for the best American made floor jacks, figure out which ones are made in America and just rank them based on the rating I have here, that's gonna help me ultimately use the Google Search Console to find keyword and ranking opportunities and content opportunities so that I can keep driving more clicks back to my website. Last but not least, focus on improving your website engagement and your bounce rate. So if you start noticing that the more people are visiting your website, your bounce rate is getting worse, your average session duration is getting worse, your pages per session are getting worse, it's something you should be alarmed by. So you always wanna pay attention to all this behavior data because ultimately it's gonna help you with your rankings if you can drive more engagement. It's a Google ranking factor in terms of bounce rate, average session duration. If someone's going, and let's just say for example, we'll come back to our searches here, Let's just say someone clicks through this link to Ikea and they're on that page for 10 minutes. They go through different pages. The bounce rate on the page is maybe very small. And then over here with Target, and this is probably not the case, but let's just say someone clicks on Target here and they're spending, and the average session duration is one minute. The average page, pages per session is half of what it is for Ikea. The bounce rate is doubled. So eventually what Google's gonna do is say, okay, Ikea has built a page that people are engaging with much longer than they're doing with this target page. So we're gonna rank this Ikea page higher because it's showing that people are more engaged with it. People are finding this page more useful. So that's something to keep in mind as you're creating content is you wanna make sure people are staying on your website for a while and they're not bouncing too often. And as long as some of those metrics here, so we'll come back over to Google Analytics, as long as you're seeing improvement for either average session duration or bounce rate, I wouldn't be too concerned about it, but if you're seeing both 
get drastically worse, then you want to make sure your engagement is improving, that people are actually engaging with the content on your website. Now, main takeaways, and, and this will just be a quick overview, but content creation is vital. Any website I've ever worked on has grown the most when content is being produced consistently. It's the same. It's the truth with beachfronttocore.com. It's the truth with clients I've worked with. It's the truth with really any website. It's also the same with the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. If I stop creating content for a period of time, my views start going down, my watch time starts going down. So you need to consistently create content in order to grow. Create better resources than competitors. So the content you're creating is gonna vary for every industry. If I'm creating content for Surfside PPC, it's different than when I'm creating it for wickerguide.com. And that's also different than floorjackcenter.com. So ultimately what you need to do is understand what's ranking in your industry for the topics you're covering, and then create comprehensive, helpful, and user-friendly pages for your targeted keywords. If, for example, in the case of wicker chairs, you see a lot of e-commerce websites ranking and it's really just product listings, then what I need to do is make sure that I have more written content there, that I have better filters and categories that people can easily go through the products, that I have more products for sale, that I have more subcategories. So all of those are very important when search engines are looking at what pages to rank because they want pages that are going to be the easiest for the end user. Last but not least, expand, improve, and update. Your content needs to be updated and relevant for today. So I'm going to use my floor jacks example one final time. So one article on my website, and I purchased this website, so I had some content here already, but was the best floor jacks reviews. I didn't write this article. It was published July 17, 2018. If we scroll down, you can see not a bad looking article and it already has some pretty good content here. So basically what I need to do is come in here and update this. So I'm gonna update this by December 15th with the best floor jacks after I start writing all of my different reviews for the top rated floor jacks that are on Amazon and around the internet. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.